Hello, I'm Ashley Evans and you're watching Black Onyx. Today we're bringing you face to face with one of South Africa's most iconic property developers. I'm joined by John Rabi and Malcolm Lobin of New World, a property development company domiciled in Europe, established to spearhead developments outside of South Africa. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Ash. Thank you, Ashley. Why have you decided to focus your attention on Portugal? Portugal is quite a remarkable country. And, and what has happened, it, got, um, it utilized the capital that it got from the EU in a very sensible way. So it had major upgrade of its infrastructure. So its road networks, its public spaces, um, and you can see it had good governance. So, and just recently, uh, in fact, there's an election currently taking place in Lisbon uh, at the moment in Portugal. Um, you have a, quite a remarkable country because it's 11 million people. It's very beautiful. It has um, no crime, very limited crime. It's, uh, it's still in its growth phases and it gave us the opportunity to do what we do here in Cape Town in Lisbon. It's very similar. Portuguese are not too dissimilar from South Africans. Um, and w w there's a lot of synergy. So, um, plus, if you are buying a unit in, in our developments, you qualify for a golden visa. And uh, the golden visa then gets you, of course, the EU uh, passport, or uh, which is Portuguese passport. So, there's been a cross section of people from South Africa who have bought from us, but the majority of our market is offshore. The big uh, markets that buy in, in Portugal are the Brazilians, because of the Portuguese, Europeans, especially Scandinavians, Chinese, Hong Kong Chinese, and Middle Eastern are, are the big investors into, into Portugal. So it's got great potential going forward. Um, it's stable, uh, it works, and we're very happy to be, really happy to be developing in Lisbon. Johnny, tell us about your first project, LX Living, in Lisbon. Okay, so uh, when we arrived and uh, we started our due diligence on the LX Living site, which uh, sits in a most uh, perfect part of Lisbon, it's right at the juncture of the, of the, 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 the highways that take you to the south, to the Algarve, and to the north, to Porto. Uh, this site had all those characteristics, uh, with also the public uh, tram system. They've got trams in, in Lisbon, with beautiful old trams. It's got up and down past the site. It gives us a lot of character. Um, we uh, felt that we could do something really special. And uh, it's, it's also the, the site, and these are very, very important when identifying where you want to develop. We won't just take any site. It has to qualify for stringent and rigid criteria because that's what creates the value and we're going to get on to the value just now and the packages and why uh, why Lisbon and and what's and, and why the financial uh, what the financial ramifications of buying there are so um, we together with Miguel Sarava the architect uh, outstanding architect uh, uh, you know does all his work around Europe I think the, the scheme is built beautifully around a courtyard. It's got the retail at, at ground floor. It's got uh, the apartments that go up to six floors. And then beautiful spas and swimming pools, which create the, and the gyms, which create the, uh, the leisure for our buyers inside the block, uh, inside the apartments. And uh, I think um, when it's complete, it'll be an absolute uh, icon of, of where it's going to sit in Amorage with the five-star Ritz, uh, hotel Ritz next door and the Don Pedro, which is a five-star uh, Spanish hotel, together with the bigger shopping centre um, in, in, uh, in Lisbon is 200 metres away. So we've got really mixed use, which is what I've uh, alluded to earlier on, all in one spot. Um, so. This is what gave us the confidence and, uh, and, and really the market's taken to very, very successfully.